My name is Mark Howard, and I'm a staff software engineer at Google. I lead Project Shield, a Google product that provides free protection to news, human rights, and elections websites, protecting them from DDoS attacks and keeping them reliably online. To start, let's discuss the threat of DDoS attacks and the risk they pose to any website. Distributed denial of service, or DDoS, is a very common type of attack used to take websites offline. Attackers use a botnet of compromised machines to send a flood of traffic that can overwhelm a server and render it incapable of serving legitimate customers. These attacks are cheaply available for purchase, can be initiated from anywhere in the world, and do not require special access to the website or serving infrastructure. Because these attacks look like a large flood of semi-legitimate traffic, they can be hard to defend against alone. Any defenses employed on a hosting server will still need to process and make decisions about every request. The impact of these attacks on a website can be severe. If the server becomes overwhelmed, it may stop being able to serve real customers. During an attack, the attack traffic may vastly outnumber the real traffic from legitimate users visiting the website, and those users can be drowned out. Users may experience extreme latency or see the site go down entirely. The attacker who is controlling a botnet of compromised machines can start and stop the attack at any time. And this attack costs virtually nothing for them to run. The attack can last a very long time, up to weeks, and can take the service offline during critical moments when it's most important for the website to do business or to serve its information to the world. These attacks are also increasing in size and frequency. As the number of connected devices grows, and as it gets easier to write compromising viruses, the size of available botnets continues to swell. Over the last decade, both the size and frequency of attacks has continued to grow substantially, and it shows no sign of slowing. These larger attacks require new strategies to process and defend against. Project Shield is a free service powered and operated by Google Cloud and Jigsaw with the goal to keep websites online in the face of these attacks, supporting elections, and protecting access to other important information like news and human rights. This is directly in support of Google's mission to keep the world's information universally accessible and is offered completely free of charge. Project Shield handles many types of data that pass through our system. Traffic logs from both attackers and legitimate readers enter Project Shield and are either served from cache, rate limited, or passed along to hosting servers. That same traffic is also analyzed to serve dashboards to Project Shield users and is employed by tuning algorithms that improve our defenses. However, these traffic logs come in at very uneven scale. DDoS attacks represent a big spike of unknown size potentially many thousands of times larger than legitimate traffic. And these attacks come in with uneven frequency. In this case study of the US midterm election in 2022, the number of attacks Project Shield saw against sites in the United States peaked around election day at four times the resting average. But the attack and traffic rate varied significantly in the weeks before and after the election and even throughout the entire second half of the year. Removing DDoS from the equation, this kind of uneven scale can be true for normal traffic for any service, such as when a news article goes viral or on a big sales day for a retail website. Project Shield uses Beam data pipelines to process this kind of uneven traffic smoothly into simple summaries that we can use for dashboards, metrics, and analytics. 
A data pipeline has several fundamental pieces. The incoming data stream passes through an input source that feeds the stream into a beam pipeline. There, the data is processed and then written to an output sink where the result is stored. For Project Shield, our data stream is traffic logs, and our input sink is Google Cloud PubSub. Our beam pipeline is run on Google Cloud Dataflow, and our output sync is BigQuery. That output is consumed by user-facing dashboards and defense tuning algorithms. There are two types of data flow pipelines, batch and streaming. For this example, we're going to talk about streaming, which operates like a river of data flowing continuously downstream. This kind of pipeline helps to empower real-time analytics. Here, we have chosen Google Cloud PubSub for our input source because it offers guaranteed delivery and high throughput, as well as clear and easy monitoring for throughput metrics like backlog size and latency. Additionally, PubSub offers the ability to split our data stream smoothly between multiple data pipelines by offering each pipeline its own PubSub subscription. After using PubSub to connect our data stream to Cloud Dataflow, we then need to group the data in a manner that allows us to reduce to useful summaries. For our example, a large series of traffic logs may be difficult and expensive to count when doing analyses or showing graphs but a single summary report that simply contains the number of logs is much easier to handle. This allows us to reduce an unbounded data set to constant size. To do this, we first need to group the logs by important distinguishers. We need to design how we should group and bundle the logs together in order to produce the cleanest and most useful set of reports. After determining these distinguishing characteristics, we add them to the log events as a key using beam.map. In the case of our example, one of the most important distinguishers is the host name that the log is visiting. This allows us to create a separate report for each host name. Useful when analyzing normal traffic for that host name and showing traffic for that host name on a user facing graph. We also need to keep data moving. And for that, we use windowing. Beam offers several different kinds of windows. For this example, we're going to talk about fixed windows, which allow the system to gather data for a short duration and then begin processing that bundle while gathering new data for the next window. In this case, this allows us to write a report for all traffic to a given host name in a given minute, which aligns very well with our need for data points on user-facing graphs. Beam offers a window into function that makes this kind of bundling and constant throughput very easy. Once we have clearly defined bundles of data, we need to process them into our reduced data set. However, these bundles of data can be very large. Beam offers us an easy way to parallelize this processing so that bundles of uneven size can be smoothly handled by a fleet of workers on a service like Google Cloud Dataflow, allowing us to operate at scale. The key function here is called combine per key, and it contains several pieces you need to define. The first piece is a method for summarizing a small bundle of data into an accumulator which stores the intermediary result. You then need to define a method that allows you to merge two or more accumulators, combining their individual data into a more complete picture. Lastly, you need a function that allows you to take the end result of these merges and convert it into the output format you are hoping for. Together, these three basic pieces of combined per key allow you to combine results of any size smoothly with load balancing between workers. 
Next, you need a solution for storing your results. These results will typically be extracted with one result per group per window, although this may vary depending on the specifications of your system. Beam and Google Cloud Dataflow offer many output types that you can determine to fit the needs of your service. For our example, we will store the results to Google Cloud BigQuery because it offers smooth streaming for large numbers of data rows and offers very easy combination. We can then use simple or complex queries to get the right set of results for our analyses and graphs. One of the strengths of BigQuery is that it will allow us to combine similar results after the fact. This allows us to smoothly handle one of the biggest problems with a pipeline like this, dealing with stragglers. If events come in after their intended group has already started processing, they may catch the next window and start their own data processing event that leads to a separate parallel result. There are a couple ways to deal with this. The simplest one is to accept the default and allow them to write their own report in the next window. Or you can change your windowing strategy to wait for an input watermark that attempts to guarantee that all data has been collected before processing begins. Beam offers several options for this as part of the Beam Transforms Window library set. The key insight here is to decide if you can easily combine results after the fact. In our example, we are simply counting the number of queries for a host name in a particular minute. These results are easily combinable through a simple summation in BigQuery, allowing smooth usage of Beam's default windowing strategy. As the data through your system grows and changes in the face of the real world, your pipeline needs to be able to adapt. There are two important axes for adapting your Beam pipeline, your worker count and the size of your workers, measured in CPU and memory. This is important for two different kinds of growth in your data processing. If the number of events grows significantly, you may need additional workers in order to handle the load. This worker growth is referred to as horizontal scaling. If the size of the events you are processing or the minimum bundle size you are processing grows, you may need larger workers with more CPU and more memory. This is vertical scaling. This might happen if your events grow significantly in size, such as turning on verbose mode for your traffic logs. It might also happen if the intermediate accumulation of data must be very large to preserve correctness, or if you are unable to smoothly merge results and parallelize processing. Google Cloud Dataflow offers both horizontal and vertical auto scaling, shaping your system automatically as a default part of its service. As we put all of these pieces together, we get a smooth pipeline that can take in traffic logs guarantee delivery to our pipeline through PubSub, process a group of events smoothly with Cloud Dataflow, and stream the results to BigQuery, where they can be used to serve user-facing dashboards, tune Project Shield's defenses, and more. We can do all of this by building on the power of Apache Beam and Google Cloud. And so can you.